yeah. <laughs> Take a look right here. This is a super uncommon, decently uncommon species of tiger beetle. This is Dromacorus pruninus. Now, just like all species of tiger beetles, um, these tiger beetles, of course, rely on great eyesight and incredible speed uh, to hunt their prey. All right, everybody, welcome back to Jack's World of Wildlife. Now, today I'm in this deciduous wood and I'm on the hunt for a super interesting type of ground beetle. So, I'm just scanning the ground, looking in the leaf litter, looking on the trails to see the telltale dark blur of one of these beetles scurrying around. Also, check out this brand new piece of merch. This is one of our new Widows of the World merchandise shirt options. You can get them in hoodies, shirts, whatever. Uh, they're super awesome. If you want one of these, um, they're going to be tagged in the video below the description. But anyway, let's get to work and let's see if we can capture one of these super interesting and unique and uncommon species of ground beetles. Let's go. All right, I just spotted one. I'm going to see if I can catch it, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take a look right here. This is a super uncommon, or decently uncommon species of tiger beetle. This is Dromacorus pruininus. Take a look, that is a jet black tiger beetle. <laughs> look at that. Now, tiger beetles belong to a family of beetles called Carabidae. And these are the predatory ground beetles. So what these animals are doing in this kind of open forest is they are scurrying along the open spaces, usually on these trails, and hunting ants, other insects, and they grab them with these super sharp mandibles, and they kind of slice them up and grind them up and then drink all the lipids that come out of those insects. Look at that. Well, the, this forest looks pretty good, so we're gonna see if we can find any more of these super awesome little Dromacorus pruininus black tiger beetles. Shoot. All right, we've got another one. Oh, yeah. Whew. I'm really good at capturing tiger beetles, aren't I? Another beautiful Dromacorus pruininus. These are easy because uh, they don't fly off like some of the Cisandella do. Uh, so it's easy to kind of get on top of them. Now, just like all species of tiger beetles, um, these tiger beetles, of course, rely on great eyesight and incredible speed uh, to hunt their prey. What interesting little tiger beetles. Have you ever seen a pure black tiger beetle before? Really, really cool species. Really, really nicely colored. <laughs> really cool. Really nice. Uh, you can see he's trying to burst out of this plastic container. You're not strong enough to do that, bud. Uh, but these are such awesome beetles and they are predatory their entire lives. As larvae, they inhabit these little holes where they live like a sarlacc and they jump out and they grab prey and then they pull it underground and then they feast on it until of course they pupate and turn into an equally as ferocious adult beetle. Take a look at that beetle guys. <laughs> that is awesome. See if I can put it on my hand. Oh, there he goes. Running off, see how fast that is. He's running like hundreds and hundreds of miles per hour in his own perspective. Speedy. Perfect background noise too. We're right next to the airport. That's why there's so many airplanes. We're in the low fly plan for the DFW area. Go! Wherever you're going. <sighs> planes these days. Look at you. What's the deal with airline food? Okay, anyway, let's see. We've got numero tres over here. Where are you? Where'd you go? Did you run away when I was looking away? What is, what is flying around? A cicada or something? Hmm. Wow. 
Where, 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 my, where my meter go? What the? What the? There. Oh! <gasps> We've located our, our prodigal son. He's returned home. Dromacorus pruninus, the illustrious black tiger beetle. Cool, I guess. I mean, they're interesting. If you're a fan of tiger beetles, I guess I am. I know you are. You like tiger beetles? <laughs> yeah, bet you do. Bet you love tiger beetles. They're cool. Who doesn't love tiger beetles? If this animal was the size of like a house cat, they'd probably eat humans which is very scary to think about. They could run like 200 miles an hour and like slice our legs off and just like eat us. Or their larvae would come out and just grab our legs and slowly devour us. Pretty cool though, right? Okay, cool little tiger beetle rummaging around, freaking out. Okay, bud, okay. Yep. cool. Oh yeah, another sucker right there, Dromacorus pruninus. Such cool little beetles, so quick. We're gonna see if we can get some really cool macro shots of these with the camera, so that you guys will be able to see some super close up shots of these really interesting beetles. Wow, we've seen so many out here, which is crazy cool, awesome. Well, we've had a great time catching these super cool little Dromacorus, uh, Pruininus, tiger beetles. And I hope you guys learned some stuff about these really interesting and cool black tiger beetles. Uh, now remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, buy our brand new merch. I know this is a little sweaty, but I promise it looks really cool when it's not drenched in Jack's World of Wildlife juice. Um, but be sure to grab your own stuff, support us on Patreon, tune into all of our future live streams and videos, turn on post notifications so you don't miss anything, and enjoy, above all else, enjoy and learn from the content. So really, really cool. Thank you guys so much for watching, and be sure to tune in to the next episode of Jack's World of Wildlife.